Hi, in this video of React, we will discuss about the states. Logically, state is somewhat similar to the property, but the main difference between these two is that once a value is assigned to the property, it cannot be changed while the state can be changed. So what we are going to do here, first we will put some default value on the particular state of a page and then using some events we will try to change that. But the same things, the same changes of the through the event, we cannot do it for the props, but we can do that for the states. So let's start a practical implementation for working with the states in React. So for implementing the state in React, again I will come to app.gsx as I used to do in every program. So right here what I'll do, I will create a state and later I will try to change that on a particular event. So first of all what I will do here, I will create a constructor so that I will set the initial value for my state and later I will change it on the event. But before making a state, first of all I will have to call my super method of JavaScript which I will have to do with, with before creating any particular state. And right after that what I can do is I will say this dot state and here I will create an object and inside that I can put as many as properties I want. So for now I will take the count property which I've initialized with zero. So what I can do right here inside this div I will put the heading tag that is h1 tag and will say value and here I will print this dot state dot count. Let me just save that. Alright, I don't need to put this semicolon. And now here you can see value 0. So this is the initial value which is set for this particular program. Now on a particular click of a button, I want to make an increment in this count. So for that, what I will do right here inside this div, I will first break a line and then I will put a button. Here I set the text increment by 1. So as soon as I will start clicking over it, I want the values to be incremented. So first of all what I will have to do is I will create a method on which I will do that. So here it's button click method and inside that I will try to call this particular method that is on click is equal to we have already seen the events so for that this dot btn click that's the name of my function and right here inside what I'll do is I will say this dot set state alright and right there I will change the values which I have defined inside the state so you may have multiple value for but for now I only have count so what will I do is count and here I will say this dot state dot count which will access the current value and on that I will make an increment of 1. So let's save it and come to the browser and as soon as I will click you see there is an error. So let's reload it and open the browser uh, developer tool. So for now everything is fine. I'll click over it and again I got the error and let's see what is that and here you can see cannot read the set state property alright so because it, it's saying it is undefined so what you can do because there are few changes in the this addition so here while calling this btn click if you are accessing some of the state some kind of thing so here you will call bind and then this so let's save it and now click on the button and here you can see the value is incrementing every time you are clicking over the button. So this is how you can create the state and as I said like the state is something which you can change at the runtime but in the case of property we can't. So this is how you can just define a state, some members inside that particular state object and then 
on a particular event whether it's a button click or any checkbox or on any particular timer you can just follow the same procedure in order to do the changes in the state of the page tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning